what we're looking at is the mushroom log we put together last year. So the reason why we're doing more mushroom logs is because they seem to be working, <laughs> which is great. I didn't have much faith in this. Um, never done it before. I'd seen tons of videos. They said it was easy, but I didn't see anything going on. This is walnut, so one of the harder woods. So the softer the wood is, the quicker it is for the mushroom to kind of colonize and then start producing. So this takes a really long time, but I came out here the other day and I looked and as you can see, like these are where I put the dowels. I'll show you how to do that later. Cover it with wax to keep it sealed and moist. And uh, you can see in there, I'm actually getting a bit of mycelium. And if you can see here as well, there's a little bit of white stuff. So that's the log being colonized. So that's pretty cool. Um, I also wasn't sure if this was going to work because this is under a cedar, cedar tree. And a cedar tree is um, antifungal. But crazy enough, I tilted it to see what was going on underneath. And sure enough, there is a lot of activity. So stuff is happening. We'll go check out the other log that's actually fruiting now. All right, so this is the other log that we have. So the first one I showed you is shiitake, and this is oyster mushrooms. So obviously there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, I was totally in disbelief that this was actually oyster mushrooms, so I kind of just checked to see like where they're stemming from, and sure enough, it's where we put the dowel. So I was like, okay, sounds good. They're growing. Um, something is eating it right now. It's not in the greatest place. I'm gonna break this off because it's been chomped on around the edges, but check it out. That's like some mushroom stuff going on. That's pretty cool. See so yeah, these are oysters. Same thing, you can kind of see it's colonizing everywhere. And uh, yeah, once we get it in a safer spot, and once it's colonized a bit more, it should be fruiting from each of these points. That's generally what should happen. But um, yeah, just seeing anything is pretty cool. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> you need to do the fun stuff? Yeah. And you pull it until it like, passes out what you're going to do. Like a rip? Yeah. Oh. Did you rip it the cheese? I don't have any. <laughs>
other side. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Probably like, maybe just do a tall log, hey? Yeah. Just like chop a chunk off. I love the handle. I'm gonna take my mushroom log over here or over there. <laughs> All right. Take a bit of this off because this has been sitting for a little while and it looked like there's a little bit of mycelium on there so I just I don't know if this is gonna jeopardize the wood but the ugliest mushroom log you'll ever see in your life. Um, most people would not choose something like this, but we're just working with what we have. As for the spacings, this is not what usually is done either. Um, we just have a bunch of leftover dowels, so we're just going to use them all up. Put them all in here, just overload it like crazy, because uh, we just only have three logs. So I did seven five all around so it should colonize really quick um, and yeah we'll just keep it as long as it goes I think basically it'll just expire sooner because it'll completely form with mushrooms and then like really quickly and then because so much mycelium to wood ratio food ratio it's just gonna kind of be a waste of our dowels so you wouldn't really want to do that but for us we're just gonna go for it and just have a big couple harvests and then do this again later so this is ridiculous <laughs> yeah 36 dowels so yeah, just they're all going in the so cell? long yeah i think we'll do five round seven i'm try to space it out a bit So it's coming to the part where we're actually going to put the dowels and the logs. And now these have been sitting in the fridge for a year. So I am amazed they look as good as they do. Um, when you get them, they look a lot more fresh and white like that. This has gone quite yellow. And some of it is, has even like fruited inside the bag, which is kind of nuts. So it's partly why we're like overloading the logs with dowels as well because like chances are some of them might not have, not have like a crazy amount of mycelium left on them. Uh, but we're just gonna do it anyways. So we got two different kinds. We're gonna do those, keep them separate 
this will be like an oyster mushroom log and then that'll be oyster and then that'll be like shiitake so we'll keep them separated and then what we have as well is the frying pan heating up because we have to melt some soy wax and we use a little dibbler guy dibbler a little dibbler guy and then that'll soak up the wax and then we'll just like put it on top of each hole and that seals it up keeps the moisture in and then allows the log to like do its thing and then we get mushrooms fingers crossed fingers crossed <laughs> so plugs wax logs fire dogs 300 dollars hammer sweet it's a crazy amount but it's gonna keep it melted for the time being Watch out, baby. Okay, I'm just gonna start little. You know, check it out. No, don't eat it. <laughs> don't eat it, baby. Back up. Good girl. So that's a that little bit of white there. This mushroom mycelium. This is crazy because you don't feel like it's gonna stay on there. Because you kind of have to hammer it in there. And then basically, like, bloop. The day will do ya. So I'll just kind of go, maybe I'll start on your side, so then you can dibble, dibble dabble after me. Mm -hmm. That's fine, yep. Just smash it. Just smash it. Just watch those puppy noses. Yeah, you. Not approved. Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, don't like it. <laughs> Tika, you're cute. Hey. <laughs> Talk about your hammer holding skills. It, yeah, I'm not a carpenter. <laughs> oh, <we're going>. just... <laughs> Most control. That's so far away from my hand. How am I supposed to control that? Leverage. So, leverage. It's way too far. It can't be that strong. Hey! <laughs> oh no! Hammering skills are very poor. I will not lie. What Try the it. frick? <laughs> Got it. Okay. Right. Yeah, we'll just see if it needs more wax after. This one's not so bad. This is a different one than the other one. Can you figure out what this one is? Kind of looks like maybe cottonwood. Yeah. Poplar. Or something. Is a poplar? Don't know. I'm not a tree scientist. I'm not a tree scientist either. I like vegetables and fruits and stuff. What are you doing? It's oh. <laughs> already so hard enough. Oh my gosh. Now we're on to the shiitakes. These ones don't look very good in the bag, but like I said, I don't care. We're gonna try it. Look in my eyes. Can't see what I'm doing. I'm really not a mushroom scientist either, but it works, so I'm gonna roll with it. Just check this one first. So like, basically, we're just not seeing any air pockets or gaps. Like that sealed, 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 sealed. Good. That's got a hole. Pull that up. <laughs> oh, so nice. 
Okay. Like, this is good because it's shady, it gets wet. Um, these ones start taking off here, so I'm just gonna find a flat spot, get to the dirt. Like that. And then kind of bury the sides a bit. It's these moist. That's very tall. Can I hold it? Yeah. Is it kind of sort of? Dig around a little bit. I'll put the leaf litter around. And as long as nobody like walks by, it should be fine. So yeah, this just allows the moisture to come up from the soil too, which is pretty cool. And then, uh, as you saw with the log, some of the mycelium is going into the soil too. So I'm so curious to see if it spreads or if it does anything. I don't know if it'll have enough like hosts to do that, but I'm so curious. This is our little mushroom jungle now. How cool is that? Hi, baby girl. How are you Walk. Ah! Well, these mushrooms will probably fruit in the spring and the fall. Some snacks. Some snacks. Well, you all done for the day, Mika? <laughs> you all done for the day? You settling in?